commission really should look favorably at giving Greene County a license for the simple reason that, uh, that one of the main charges to the commission is to see that uh, when they do issue licenses, they're good for not only the area of the, the facility that that license is going to be located in, but also good for the state of Iowa. I wouldn't presume to put myself in, in your places to make this challenging decision, uh, but what I would say is that Greene County is not coming to you with a Hail Mary, hoping that three out of the five of you catch it. What they have done is put together an economic development game plan. And it's for that reason that they deserve approval of this casino. It won't cannibalize existing casinos. It'll help, help lift an economic region. This is the, precisely the time and exactly the place for a casino in Iowa. As one of the largest manufacturers in Greene County, this casino is so key to us to continue to grow. Uh, every day we talk about how are we going to get employees in this area? How are we going to create an environment to keep them in this area? We truly believe that this casino is a key component to making that happen. The biggest thing that you guys, by passing this, is bring, just helping bring jobs to Greene County would be just huge. When it comes to this community, uh, which we love so much and care so much about, uh, to have to have an accelerator, a, a generator that that, that 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 the revenues and the people and the excitement and the the entertainment complex and a uh, great places to eat, man, we are for casino uh, for Grow Green County. What we don't have is a place for people to meet with their clients, to provide workshop space, to have a convention center so that we can actually entertain our people in the style that we want. And Wild Rose would just provide all of that to complete our puzzle. As a small county, we've kind of relied on the larger centers that we, that we cooperate with to help us out. This gives us a chance to pay back. Uh, to be givers instead of takers. This gives us an opportunity to, to, be a, to put us on a more level playing field with them in terms of the resources that we can bring to regional activities. With the increased revenues that we're gonna see, we're gonna really be able to do great projects in our community. We can only do that if the Gaming Commission votes yes. I think the location in Jefferson and Greene County is uh, perfect from a regional aspect. The economic development activity, the offspring from a casino and a gaming facility would spread wide and far within this region. It would reach employment in uh, various counties. It would reach entertainment in those counties, as well as give us a very nice venue for larger conference center and larger activities. And it should uh, add some entertainment in our community because it seems like the other casinos get some of these name name groups that, that, that tour the country. This is going to have a long-ranging effect on our community uh, and, and on all the counties around us. It's going to generate a lot of traffic. Uh, with that will we'll come increased business uh, downtown. It's also going to generate a lot of, of new businesses and uh, we're hoping that, uh, that certainly it's going to create the, the kind of growth that can, uh, that can put us back on the track to being a, a growing and thriving uh, county and community. We as a community want this and I think I think it was 75 percent said yes that's a bigger turnout for voting than we have when we're electing a president so I think that says a lot that people went out and voted whether they voted yes or no the community spoke and we want it here. The people of this uh, Green County really want this casino I think if we don't get the casino, there's going to be a lot of disappointed people. This casino is a once in a lifetime opportunity and our city and county are very well uh, equipped to handle this and we're excited for it and hopefully it'll bring great things uh, to many future generation, hopefully Dobbindick telephone employees and we're excited to have it in our county. There's no better fit uh, as a community for this type of uh, uh, entertainment venue as Greene County and they're doing everything at a local level uh, to draw that support. They're going to be an amazing partner for the Gaming Commission and for the state of Iowa in general. We would think that a facility like the one that Wild Rose is proposing here would be a win-win, a win-win-win for us and the state and the population in uh, western Iowa. 
This is really an important moment in uh, this region's history out here. Uh, I have seen what gaming has done for Palo Alto County. I've seen what it's done in Worth County, and I've seen the transformations of Dubuque and Council Bluffs and the River Cities. Now here we are coming to you, and we need you on this one. Uh, this is a huge moment for this whole region out here, and this is a project that is gonna help us grow into the future. So I hope you'll favor this casino. I just want to say, let Green County grow.